What's up, my Carcomaniacs? And welcome back to Carcomo Gaming. I am Carcomo, the forger of pain! Yeah! Well, guys, it's finally here. Street Fighter V, 20 something years in the making. And this is a special day. And not only because Street Fighter V, it's because Street Fighter and these guys you see in the background, they mean a lot to me and that's why I want to tell you. Before this unboxing, I'm going to tell you a little story. When I was a kid, uh, it was 1994, I was, I was a big thing of bullying. Yeah, go figure, the forger of pain, but yes, I was a big thing of bullying too. Because I used to be a geek. Well, I'm still a geek. I never changed. And uh, nowadays, it's like really popular being a... I was gonna say a bully. No, it's really popular being a geek. It's so easy. You see like a lot of women, you see like Avengers leggings and stuff like that. But in my time, you were like a nerd and you had to be crucified. So I, and I was a skinny guy. You just don't know when to give up, do you? Callate, idiota! So what I did is that I, I wanted to learn martial arts. And I grew up with, you know, John claude Van Damme. <laughs> and also watching Bruce Lee and Schwarzenegger that I know he's not like a very martial artist. But they cook it down! But you know what I mean. So, 1994, I got this game for the SNES called Street Fighter 2. I gotta say, that was the last thing that made me, you know, jump into martial arts. If it wasn't for Street Fighter, I wouldn't be here. So, today is like closure. Two of my love things, the Isao Lee Academy and Street Fighter together to do this great unboxing here in Kaikumo Gaming. So let's start, shall we? Here it is, Street Fighter V in the flesh, if you will. And sadly, I have some gripes with this game because oh, it's really sad to say, but I don't know what's wrong with Capcom. They being like, meh because this game started as an arcade fighting game. Yes, you heard that well, an arcade fighting game, and guess what? No arcade mode. Yeah, the game, I mean, it's still pretty awesome. Like, the graphics are awesome, uh, the fighting styles and everything, returning characters. We have new characters, but it's lacking in the, in the department of content. And uh, the story mode, uh, right now, it has like a story mode with some pictures. They don't even look that good. And I'm gonna tell you something, Capcom. If you wanna learn how to do a fighting game with a lot of content, you have to pay attention to Netherrealm Studios. You weak, pathetic fool. <laughs> The guys are doing Mortal Kombat because, I mean, like they have like the story, a lot of skins, a lot of free DLC, and also, I mean, they keep expanding the games with uh, the characters, and uh, I know it looks like I'm complaining a lot, but I have to be honest with you guys, is that this game should never have been like full retail price. Like, if you're giving me like a bare bone fighting game, at least, you know, make it 50 bucks. But, oh well, that's what you see is what you get. Well, not really, because what I see is not finished, so this is not what we got. So we open the game. Let's see what's in, uh, wait a minute. There's something important that I must say. Uh, actually, I'm surprised Capcom, and you redeemed yourself a bit with this. Like, all DLC characters are free. But I'm not sure, I mean, tell me in the comments if this is with every single game or it's just the collector's edition 
because when I do these unboxings, I'm doing them for real, like my first impressions, so I am not sure, but that's what it says here. I just wanna know if this is just a collector's edition, but still, kudos for you, Capcom. So let's open it now, and uh, okay, okay, obviously, no manual, because you know, it's the digital age, you millennials. And uh, we got here two, well, I can't show you the code, but we got, what's this? Emoticons? Chat during subscriber only mode? Wow, I don't get it. Really? Like this is so necessary. You're gonna give me some emoticons? Oh my God. Thank you, Capcom, thank you. So you redeem yourself to later disappoint me right away. This is like a new record. And I'm not done yet. I am sure there must be something else inside. Please, please tell me this is not it. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. So we got this awesome thing of Bison Vega, whatever the heck you want to call him. And uh, let's see, what do we have? Uh, enjoy these three Street Fighter comics. And uh, Captain Uden and Comicsology invite you to download these classic Street Fighter comics. More digital stuff. <laughs> Is it just me? Or, oh man, I don't know. I mean, it's cool. We got the comics and check them out. They look pretty awesome. But I like paper. I like paper, really. I, I like paper. Papel. Consígame papel. Capcom, really, I love you. You're part of me, you're part of my childhood. I became a man because of you. But really, you have to like, do this, if you know what I mean. And uh, you have to step up your game. But well, Street Fighter, there you go, the game. Let's go on and see what else does the box has inside. Continuing with the unboxing, we have the art book. I am a sucker for art books, and I gotta say that this one is pretty awesome. I like that it's hardcover. You can see like the quality of the page. Uh, it has like a glossy feeling. Uh, I mean, you don't have to touch it. You just have to see it. And you can see like the characters. Oh my God, and I gotta say, they have like the first drafts, like the concept arts, and most of them are awesome. I hope they make it into skins. For example, I am loving Sangeef, not only because I'm a pro wrestler, but wait a minute, where's Sangeef? As you can see, Sangeef, the concept art for Sangeef is pretty awesome. Please, Capcom, make this a DLC, and he's not the only one. Bison or Vega, if you're from Japan, uh, it looks awesome too. Charlie, Nash, Hey guys, really, all these concept arts, all these drafts, whatever you want to call it, Capcom, I beg of you, DLC, please! What else do we have over here? We have, well, that's the game. And uh, we have this postcard. And uh, you know what? It's not actually a postcard. It's actually a digital soundtrack. And Carcumaniacs, my loyal Carcumaniacs, you know me. You know I like physical stuff. And uh, so I'd rather if you can give me a disc of the soundtrack. But if you don't want to be a hoarder, like this one right here, you should get, oh my God, you almost saw the code, but no, 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 I'm not gonna let you do that. But I like the art and uh, for better or worse, you can download uh, this thing with the code. So, well, that's it. I don't have too much to say about it. 
let's go and see the grand finale of this unboxing, that statue. What you all been waiting for, the meat and potatoes of this, this statue. Here we have Ryu. Okay, I gotta tell you something. This is not like a bust of Ryu. He actually has his legs and they come in this separate package. I don't know why. You know, to prevent the cost from the box being too big, I guess. Okay, here we have Ryu. Ryu's little leg. There you go, that's Ryu. He has his legs. For some reason, this thing doesn't fit. I kid you not. Poor Ryu, man. Ryu, come here. Yeah, I know it's kind of difficult to put, you know, like the whole thing together. So I had to do it like just the legs first. Um, don't know why. And there you go. Voila! Here it is. The complete Ryu. And uh, I gotta say, dude, like the statue, the quality is pretty good. Like the shadow, the painting. Ryu, he looks all pissed. He's like, he's ready to fight. And I have no complaints. Uh, the collector's edition, this is what did it for me. Just the statue because. Like I said, nah, I'm not too happy with the, the rest of the content. So, just a statue, okay? guys is that you should wait it out you should not get this game right away wait until a price drop because yeah man like I said Capcom they have to do a lot of things uh, put a lot of DLC story mode and a lot of bunch of stuff like that and uh, the statue is pretty nice but really uh, it, this is not rare by any means like if you don't get it now you're never gonna get it no 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 you can wait just be patient Wait until the price drop, and you know, if you're a Street Fighter fan like I am, that's why I got it. I love Street Fighter, you know, no, it doesn't matter what they do, I'm still gonna, you know, I'm still gonna buy it. I guess I'm a Street Fighter junkie. And uh, the other thing is that, you know, nowadays it's really hard to get into Street Fighter. Uh, you know, it was a game that you could just pick up and play, you know, easy to play but difficult to master. And nowadays, I feel like it's difficult and difficult. I go online, I get my ass kicked all the time. So I rather, you know, I'm, a, I'm an old school guy, you know, a couch, I had to play with a human being. So, you know, that's how I roll.
thank these guys, the Isao Lee, the academy that forged me, that made the forger of pain. And no pun intended, I have to thank them because trust me, if it wasn't for those, I don't say punishment, I would call it discipline. I wouldn't be who I am today, so thank you. And of course, I want to thank my Carcomaniacs for supporting me, for subscribing to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, trust me, awesome things are coming. So remember, like, this is Carcomo Gaming, and thank you.